I remember when I joined in year seven, I was greeted by this gaggle of really friendly girls and was like, entered immediately into their friendship group and they are still my closest friends today. My singing teacher, who is fantastic, encouraged me to join the choirs and we went on a music trip to Rome and it was really one of my favourite trips I've ever done with the school. It was stunning and we sang in the Vatican actually and it was just brilliant. One of the great things about sixth form is that there's loads of extra things you can do that sort of add to um, your academic experience. Slow that down. We did Molière's La Bourgeois Gentilhomme. We changed the genders, so I was this woman trying to buy her way into upper class society. So I did a little bit of bad singing on stage, bad dancing, bad philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> What's been really good about art since year 12, I think, is the amount that you're pushed out of your comfort zone, which I need to be pushed to go beyond just photography or just drawing. And so I've been doing these soft sculptures, I've been stitching them. I was inspired by those armchairs and sofas and pillows and mattresses that are left on the street. And also we've been doing a lot of life drawing and I was found really interesting these things that have been so close to human bodies but were just left on the street and had started sewing my own sort of ambiguous pillow shapes. <laughs> it sounds really bizarre but it's been really enjoyable because it's a whole new medium for me. I've just gone on to an art foundation course at City and Guilds, so I'll be doing that for a year. And then I'm going to do English and French at Edinburgh, which I'm really excited about, but I have basically just kept on all my 3A levels because I've enjoyed them so much and I didn't want to leave any behind.